The amount of plastic in the ocean, when we look at the magnitude of it, uh, sometimes the magnitude can be overwhelming. What can one person do when the magnitude is that great? And the answer is you can decide to take some type of actions and then build on those and have other people involved. And when you do that, you can begin to have an impact. I'm Morris Inyer. I live in Barnegat, New Jersey. And so with that, we'll go ahead and fasten these on. About two years ago, I sold my company and was looking for something to do because I decided at age 70, I was too young to retire. And so what I decided on was to get a commercial drone pilot's license and take that license to create drone surveys of litter. We're taking two pictures every second in order to cover the ground. And that gives us resolution to detect objects down to about a half of a centimeter. But what benefit is that other than just, you know, having pictures? That's where the machine learning component changes the game. I came across the Plastic Tide, which is a gentleman by the name of Peter Kohler in the UK. And after a number of conversations, we decided to form an international coalition. It's called DroneNet. We have people from 14 countries. Some people are scientists, and they're working with us to do the machine learning component. Morris is one of the founding people that came on, and he's been super active. He's given us over 7,000 images, and the only images live now at the moment are from uh, Morris in New Jersey Beach. The photos that you saw earlier, that's like the food for the machine learning. The photographs will be uploaded, and now uh, anyone on the internet anywhere can classify these photographs. Here's a bottle cap, here's another one, and here's a straw. And so if you show it all of the instances of bottle cap and you show it tens of thousands of instances, it gets to the point where it doesn't need you to draw a circle around it anymore. If it sees a picture of it, it will know that's a bottle cap. Peter is taking kind of the lead in that area, and I'm taking the lead in standardizing the methodology that anyone can use. We have uh, who the pilot is, where we are, Island Beach State Park in New Jersey, the date and the time, the starting longitude and latitude. Cloud cover today is zero, it's a beautiful day. The idea is to have a inexpensive, reproducible methodology that doesn't require someone to have a great deal of training. You can go out and you can do an assessment more frequently, you can do it less expensively, and take that information to look at what kind of litter abatement do you need, and, and then you begin to look at where's it coming from and, and what can you do to reduce that. The results can be pulled, and by bringing that all together in the world, it takes you out of your parochial view and expands you into a much larger view.